Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, AD744. Today, guys, I'm going to give you guys my match reaction to Germany 5. Scotland won. Wow. This was a beatdown. An absolute beatdown. And Germany, man, this was the right start. This was the right start they needed. Obviously, there was a lot of talking points ahead of this game that, oh, they might get grouped here. You know, what if McTominay drops a two-piece? And one of my YouTubers I know was saying that. And we all know what happened. Germany triumphed on the day 5-1. And I think it's fair to say that Germany are a contender to win this year's Euros. They're definitely in the running. Now, what is the result? They're going to be in the round of 16. Um, and most likely, they should top the group with a superior goal difference. And what made Germany so good on the day was how amazing they were structured. Like, you have to give Nagelsmann so much credit here because that Germany team I saw throughout the course of the game was fantastic. Electric passing through to through. I thought Tony Cruz was fantastic on the day. Gundogan as well. Even though they didn't get a goal or an assist, they were amazing in the midfield. Uh, middle start as well, the, the left back. He had a fantastic game. Kimmich as well. So let's start with the pass to the first goal. Great, great pass. A great assist there. Um, I believe it was from Kimmich to Florian Wurtz. Easy finish. Easy finish. Maybe you could argue, argue Gun should have done better there, the goalkeeper, but it was a hard... It was, he, he got to it close, you know? And then the second goal, man, Great, great pass there. I believe Gundogan got the pre-assist. Plays it to Havertz. And Havertz plays a nice ball over the top to uh, Jamal Musiala. Musiala makes it 2-0. And then there was a penalty shout. They could have had Musiala won a penalty. Apparently, the referee said the penalty was outside the box, which is why the penalty wasn't given. But if you actually look at it, in my opinion, that should have been a pen because the contact still went through inside the box. And so, yeah, it is what it is. And then there was a still one penalty. Portuguese got, gets tackles down Gundogan. It was such a bad tackle. Reckless challenge. Unnecessary. Get, gets a red card. Gets sent off. Gundogan wins a penalty. And then up stop Kai Havertz. And Kai Havertz scores. And then at halftime, you're thinking to himself, oh, geez, this is really bad for Sc uh, Scotland there. Substitution was made at halftime. Gross comes on for Andrik. And then the second. And then Fulcro comes on. Scores a fantastic goal there. Great, great finish there from Nicholas Fulcro. Um, and yeah, I mean, I, I thought Full Crook was fantastic on the day. Um, he was amazing, man. Um, I was. Let me just actually look back because yeah, so Full Crook, great, great the goal there, and yeah, so he shoots the first time in the top corner. Then Full Crook almost scored again. Um, then it was disallowed though because he was just marginally offside. And then Rudiger with there with the unfortunate moment, very, very unfortunate deflection. And yeah, it's 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 it's, it's a bit of an unfortunate scene for Rudiger because Rudiger inadvertently scores for. Scotland and Scotland's right back in this, you know. And then obviously Emery Chan comes off the bench. Play uh, Muller gets a pass to uh to Emery Chan. Emery Chan scores the edge of the box to make it five one. And yeah, I mean Germany just look cruise control, man. Cruise control win there. Um and yeah, I mean the only thing I'm I'm questioning, the only thing that I think maybe should be changed to the future games that do you start Havertz or Fulcrow? Because in my opinion, I think Fulcrow is a better striker. I think Fulcrow for me is a better striker than Havertz. And I think Fulcrook can offer you more. Whereas Havertz, I don't really think he's that guy, in my opinion. I feel like he's better as a super sub. Uh, but yeah, we'll be interested to see how Nagasman approaches. And obviously, I think that the, everyone else in the team was fantastic. Even Rudiger, even though he had the unfortunate moment, I think still he had a pretty fantastic game throughout the overall game. Obviously, Runoia was obviously great as well, even though he didn't have to make a lot of saves. And for Scotland, man, this is really bad. Because now they, are, they put themselves where they have to get something against. They have to basically win the next two games. If they don't win the next two games, they're going to have to look at third place and look at that GD. Because remember, guys, four best third place teams can advance. And given the fact they're on minus four goal difference right now, it's going to be really, really tough. I mean, really tough. I mean, at least they got the hardest game out of the way, but now it puts them in a massive pressure. So the next game, I think, is Switzerland. And that's going to be a very interesting game. Switzerland-Scotland. That's going to be a very interesting game. Scotland have to get a victory there um, for that one, or a draw. Basically, if they lose that game, it's, it's probably fair to say they're out. It's probably fair to say they're out. So, for Germany, man, I think they're in a great position. Um, and let's see, man, can they win the Euros at home? Because it's going to be interesting, guys. Of course, of course, if you guys have seen my predictions video, you guys know what I think. I don't want to spoil for those that haven't, so you guys get the Euro playlist. Uh, but yeah, man, it should be interesting, man. It should be interesting. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below, guys. What do you guys think of Germany? Because for me, Germany looked amazing. I thought they were fantastic in the day. They played almost like RB Leipzig in 2020. Remember that time, COVID time? And yeah, Germany just looked fantastic. Very, very good start for them. And 
Germany, a team to look out for for the Euros, man. I think this team can do something. So, hope you guys can enjoy. Please remember to like and subscribe. And let me know if there's any major talking points in the comments below. I'm sure there probably is. And, yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.